are back with Richard Stoven Bradford talking about Prudential PLC. Richard, here's a question for you. AIA, that was the AIG unit Prudential PLC tried to buy, would have made them a whole lot bigger in Asia. But these results suggest that Asia is still a very strong business for Prudential, right? It certainly is. I mean, certainly the annualized premium equivalent growth is about 46%. And what's more, that's at a superb profit in seven of their markets in Southeast Asia and particularly Hong Kong. They're writing new business at a margin of about 72%. So that's a, that's a, a very good reason for them to be there. However, um, they haven't got AIA. So this is now going to be steady, steady organic growth that shareholders have got to get used to. And don't forget that shareholders are buyers of prudential for that Asian halo effect. Uh, Richard, uh, TGEN TM is raising the dividend by 5%. That's going to make some people somewhat happy. But you, do you think, without the prospect of a game-changing acquisition, a little more cash is going to be enough to keep shareholders interested? I think um, Tijan Tiam obviously wants to keep putting money back into business where he can get an early payback. But I think investors will probably start whispering in Prudential's ears to say we would like a little bit more of that money back for ourselves because the last time you guys tried to spend it, um, you flunked. So I think the jury's out on that. I, my, my inclination is that it should be linked more dynamically to operating profit and not just to some percentage growth rate. Um, and that way, that way investors will see Richard. a little bit more that they're getting a fair deal. Richard, I'm sorry we ran out of time. Richard Stoven Bradford of the FT. We'll